Okay, so you just bought a new bike and it came with these stock aluminum wheels, but hey, look, you're a serious racer. You need carbon wheels, right? Right? Well, maybe not, because today we're gonna to be comparing stock aluminum wheels with what I suspect is gonna be your first major upgrade, which is entry-level carbon wheels like these. So hang in there, we're gonna be running some tests and we're gonna make a suggestion for your next purchase. Stay tuned. All right, and here to help me with the tests, James, welcome James. Hey, thanks, you mean best friend James. Best friend James. So here's what we're gonna to do today. Uh, James is on these aluminum wheels on his absolutely gorgeous sparkly purple specialized. Uh, and what these represent is like those aluminum wheels that come on your bike when you, when you buy it. And you might be tempted to buy something like this. These are $500 pretty entry level carbon wheels. These are the iCans we've talked about in the previous video. And what we wanna find out, is there actually a difference between these two, both in terms of speed and in terms of feel? So we're gonna go out on a couple of runs. These are our training grounds with identical power, identical situation on the bike, my position's not changing, same bottle, same tires, tires you'll notice. And we're gonna compare the data that we get from these two wheels. And then we're also gonna talk about how they felt out on the road, because that's, I would say, equally as important. That's right. And James has been riding for a long time. He's been racing for how long, 10 years? Seven or eight. Seven or eight years? Yeah. We're rounding up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's been through the gamut on entry level $100 aluminum wheels, all the way up to the $2,500 CLX 50s that we just took off his bike. And same here, I started on very modest equipment and I've been lucky enough to ride really expensive equipment. So I think one of the big benefits here is you really can tell the difference once we make the switch. If you're on CLX 50s all the time, they feel like carbon race wheels. Once you switch to something like this, you really get to tell the difference, especially in the, on a windy day like today. I'm excited to tell. Yeah, me too. All right, so we're about to take off round number one. I'm on the iCans. We got James back here on stock aluminum. We're gonna stagger things a little bit just to make sure we don't catch each other. So give me like two minutes. See you in a little bit. All right, that's been two minutes. Coming to get you, Jeff. Oh, I can't clip in. Oh my God. <laughs> Was it? Whew. That was harder than I was expecting. It's kind of hot out here and really windy. It's like a it's like a hair dryer out there blowing on me constantly. Um, I already kind of know how the ICANs feel, so it's no surprise. I'm a little white knuckled when we uh, when we turn into the crosswind. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, I'm curious to see now in contrast to the aluminum wheels how those are going to feel in round two. I think that James should be showing up any minute now. He he came behind. Let's see. Cat yeah. 5 salute! Cat 5 salute! This for you, Jeff. <laughs> How'd you feel? It felt great. Going out was, was good. Coming back was just a straight headwind the, the entire time. It was, it was actually more difficult than going out, uh, even though going out was uphill and coming back was downhill. These felt great, solid. Okay, so we're doing round two now. <laughs> I am on these beauties right here and I think they're gonna perform better in the wind. That was my prediction. We're gonna go find out. Wanna tell us about the iCans? Yeah, so the iCans... Um, More like the iCans, am I, I right? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> uh, they certainly sound faster. You hear that? Raw speed, baby. Weak, weak. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta sound like angry bumblebees. Without any further ado, we cannot postpone this anymore. I have to go do another run. Let's do it. So the one thing about these wheels is that they are a little bit wider than the aluminum wheels. And so technically they should be a little bit more aerodynamic simply because the wider that the rim width, both internal and external, it allows the, the tires to balloon out. And according to the rule of 105, you want the width of the rim to be 105% that the measured width of the tire. And right now, as I'm looking down, the width of the tire exceeds the width of the rim. But it was even more so on the, on the aluminum wheels. Me, an armchair aerodynamicist, I have to assume that these are technically more aerodynamic, whatever that might mean in this situation. Aluminum wheels feel just as comfortable as the iCans. Also just as stiff, I can't really tell a difference. I think the tires, is having the same tires really blurs that line between any difference that might exist between the two wheel sets. All right, uh, we're done. I'm tired, but we've already got results. Yeah, that's right. First of all, how'd the iCans feel? You know what's really funny? They felt faster, I'm not gonna lie. 
but in the headwind on the way back, they felt a lot less stable than the aluminum wheels. I felt that too. In the once you turn in the crosswind on that little leg, that little section on the on the way back, it's like you feel the crosswind yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That I don't feel on the aluminum. But results. Without any further ado, let's talk about the results. I cannot believe they were the same speed. <laughs> the same speed. So you're not getting really any benefit because here's my prediction. I thought that. Well, of course, the carbon wheels are going to be faster. They're they're a deeper section wheel. They're more aerodynamic. They just weren't. They're not. I don't know what it is. They're just not optimized for that. I thought you were going to sacrifice some speed with the aluminum for more stability in the crosswind because they're not built like a sail. They don't have that deep profile, so they don't feel that crosswind as much. They're just as fast. So my recommendation, and then we're going to hear from James, don't get the super cheap carbon wheels. You don't get the benefit of having that deeper aero profile. You also don't get the weight benefit in this case because they weigh the same. The only thing you're really getting is more instability in the crosswind, a little bit more sketch with the deeper carbon wheels. So if you have the aluminum wheels on your bike already, good to go. Wait until you have a little bit more to spend on things that we've already shown in previous videos at around the $1,000 to $1,500 mark that are going to be faster. If you don't have wheels and you have $500 to spend, this is going to be the surprise. It's get the aluminum wheels. That's my that's my recommendation. So just to recap, my prediction was that even though the carbon wheels felt faster, if that makes any sense, I, I think every, anybody who's ridden a bike can certainly identify with that. You know what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a look. Let's not forget. There's oh a look yes, with the that's carbon that's wheels. very important too because like aesthetics and cycling, for better or worse, is definitely a thing, right? If your bike looks cool, if you feel cool you'll be faster. Like the placebo yeah. effect, that's that's a real thing. So you might not think you look as cool on the aluminum wheels, but- The data doesn't lie. The data does not lie. I am gonna, I'm gonna parrot back something I said in the last video too, which I think is worth repeating. Get the carbon wheel set if it's gonna make you ride more, because the most important thing, if you're trying to get a, if you become a faster racer, better yourself, whatever the case may be, riding more is the key. And if buying the carbon wheel set makes you ride more, go ham, have fun. Absolutely. Dude, it's so much fun having you on. Yeah. Can we do more of these? Yeah, Jeff, I would love to. Thanks, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace. You're a serious racer. You need carbon wheels, right? Right? What's up, San Jose? No, no, I think those, 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 those boxing, they do this at the, the way in, right? <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two. Okay, it's up to you. Hold it. We'll just, do this. we'll just rip it in selfie mode, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Get the send news. Make sure the send news is in there. There's going to be a million comments about that sticker.